Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video that I'm doing on a brandless Wi-Fi repeater slash extender review and setup that I got off of uh, eBay for $12 and it's capable of doing Wi-Fi 11B, 11G, and 11N at 300 megabits per second. To start with, let's take a look at the packaging itself. Up top it says wireless in Wi-Fi repeater, more range for your network. On the right hand side it says laptop, PC, Wi-Fi and high speed 300M. And on the back we have uh, some good information um, that basically gives two diagrams, one for a repeater and one for an AP access point and it describes the features that this wireless and Wi-Fi repeater um, provides. Okay, um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside. Now to begin with, let me tell you, it's nice not to have to use a razor blade or scissors to open up the hard plastic. Okay, the first thing out is the user's manual for the Wi-Fi repeater. We'll need this in a few minutes for setup and installation. So let's put this aside and see what else is in the packaging. Next item is a LAN cable of RJ45 type and we'll use that to set this up. And we have a plug here um, that attaches to the main unit here. I guess it was convenient for them to separate it for packaging reasons. And uh, let's go ahead and take out this uniquely shaped wall unit Wi-Fi um, repeater. It has a very unique shape to it and I kind of like it. Let's take a close-up look and get this in focus. Okay, there we go. Up top it says Wi-Fi repeater, no brand name. On the right we have four Wi-Fi indicators and we have a WPS button right here. And on the left side we have a socket for an RJ45 cable and we have a reset button. On the back, we have a bunch of information, or not a bunch of information, but it says wireless in repeater, um, part number, and some other stuff. And uh, basically, um, it's clean all around. And we go ahead and grab this part. Now, this pushes in and twists, I believe. Let me figure this out. There we go. And if I turn it, it should snap. Uh, yep, there we go. And uh, let me double check. Yep, it's tight. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, plug this into the wall. And we will get a green power light come on, which indicates that it is ready to be set up. So now let's go over to our computer here and single click on our Wi Fi icon down in our taskbar here. And when we do, we see our available networks and we will also see our new wireless Wi-Fi repeater. And it is called Wi-Fi repeater and it is open. But before we do anything with it, we need to disconnect from our existing network first. And I'm uh, disconnect from PP router here. That's the one I was connected to. And once I do that, I can connect to the Wi-Fi repeater network and I'm going to do that and this takes a few seconds and it will make a connection and it comes back and says Wi-Fi repeater no internet open that's because we have not set it up yet so let's open up an internet browser I'm going to open up uh, Chrome and on the address line I'm going to type in the IP address of the Wi-Fi repeater which happens to be 192.168.10.1 hit the enter key and that allows me to type in the default username and password of admin admin and then once I do I get a choice of language I'm going to take the default of English and then go ahead and click on the submit button and that will take me to the home page of the Wi-Fi wireless in repeater and it gives me some information and it's set up to go for or set up to uh, run as a AP 
um, access point but I want a repeater so that's why I clicked on the repeater and I'm using the wizards to make this quick and fast and then it scans the available networks and it found mine and I put a check mark there and then down below by default it's using the same name as my router that I already have on my network but um, I don't want both of them to be the same name so I'm going to change it to Ocean 1 and type in a security key here and then click on apply and then it comes back and gives me the um, information that um, it's set up with and then I can close this and I can go down and click on the Wi-Fi icon and as you can see I can see Ocean 1 but I can also see PP router so that way I know which one's which and as you can see I am connected to my Wi-Fi repeater which is secure and it is called Ocean 1 now I can open up an internet browser and in D I am connected to the internet and my home page is Google alright um, that's it for the install setup and review of this Wi-Fi repeater slash extender however before I end this video completely let me make one final note I've been using this uh, Wi-Fi repeater for about two days now it seems to work just fine um, it extends my network um, an extra 50 feet and I can use my tablet or my phone out on my porch which is about 75 to 80 feet away from my uh, main router so um, yeah for 12 bucks it's not a bad uh, investment and if it only lasts a couple of months I'm not out a large amount of money okay that's it for this video subscribe and like my video